we know that learning is an active process. So generating explanation is active. Young children spend a lot of their time acquiring information from the world around them and are not just passive recipients. They go out of their way to ask questions and to actively explore and experiment with the world around them. They are active participants in constructing their own understanding. So to understand how learning works, how to encourage children to revise beliefs, we have to keep the active role of the child in mind always. So a large literature in cognitive psychology and in educational psychology have discovered what's called the self-explanation effect. Right? So basically what they have shown is that children who generate explanation, children and students in fact, they learn material more effectively and generalize more readily to novel contexts. So there's something special about generating an explanation. When children explain events, they learn more than when just given feedback about the accuracy of their predictions. So there's something about the process of generating an explanation that has unique learning benefits. And these benefits are greater than when simply being told whether your belief or information is correct or not. Now, how does explanation guide learning? We know that there are these learning benefits of self-explanation, but what's the process by which explanation guides learning? We know that explanation imposes constraints on learning, so it guides and focuses attention on certain aspects of an outcome or process that are perhaps most relevant to understanding the underlying system. We also know from a lot of experimental research that explanation has distinct learning benefits compared to other cognitive tasks or processes. So for example, children learn more about the underlying causal mechanism of a system when they've generated an explanation than when they've simply described an outcome or observed it. Explanation also allows children to recruit their prior knowledge. So explanation organizes children's information and understanding into coherent conceptual systems. Explanation also allows children to identify causal mechanisms. And causal mechanisms are incredibly important for all sorts of reasons. But one of the main reasons causal mechanisms are important is that they allow you to generalize to new situations. If you understand the mechanism by which a system works, you can apply that knowledge to intervening and uh, application to new situations and outcomes. So what I wanna to talk to you about next is how we've studied how children learn through explanation. And what we've done in this research is to compare explanation to other kinds of cognitive tasks or processes, such as description, observation, or active experimentation. So to do this experimentally, what we've done is we've built these novel machines. Now these are simple machines that are meant to be accessible to preschool children. There are a series of interlocking gears with a fan on one end and a crank on the other. And when the gears are interlocked, um, just so, spinning the crank will cause a cascade of gear spinning that will ultimately spin the fan. And so the way we do this experimentally is we show children, we demonstrate how the machine works. So we spin the crank, they see the gears interconnecting, and it spins the fan. And what we do experimentally is to manipulate whether we ask children to explain how this works, if we simply ask them to watch or observe, we ask them to describe what they see, or allow them to actively explore how the machine works. And we have a variety of different learning outcomes. So we assess their understanding of the underlying mechanism. We also measure their memory of the individual gears that they see. And what we found is that children that construct a causal explanation learn more about the underlying causal mechanisms, so the crucial interconnectivity of the gears in this case, and are better at generalization than children who engage in observation or description. So in one of our follow-up tasks, we actually give children similar materials and have them build their own machine. 
Children that have generated an explanation for how this machine works are better at building their own machines based on new materials than children who just described or observed. And what we found is that explanation has a great benefit for causal learning, but has less of a benefit for memory of perceptual features. So children that described or observed actually remember more about what the machine looks like than children who have explained, which would suggest that the learning benefits of explanation are unique and selective. Explanation really hones children's attention, guides their attention towards the underlying causal basis for the system, and has much less of a benefit for perceptual memory.